I'd like to uh, take a minute tonight and uh, go over something that we studied in our Bible class tonight. And this was at the very final point of the life of Christ. We all know the story about the crucifixion, the death of Christ, and, and what he suffered for our sins. But I just want to read a couple verses to kind of put us in the understanding or get us to the understanding of just what exactly Jesus did here. In verse 28 of chapter 19 in the book of John, the Bible says, After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there, and they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on hyssop, and put it to his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. You know, there's a lot of verses and passages in the Bible that talk about the things that Jesus did. But this is probably the most critical. The moment where he decided that it is finished. All things had been accomplished. The pathway back to God was complete. The only thing left was his burial and resurrection. But his death was the key. His death was the key. And for us to look at this, to read this, to put ourselves there when this happened, uh, it's critical for us to understand what Jesus did for us. You know, he offered us salvation. He offered us eternal life. He offered us forgiveness or freedom from sin, as we might understand it. Freedom from sin. Nobody else that's ever lived can make that guarantee. But Jesus did. And he can. And there will be no other name under heaven that a person can be saved, that a person can make it to heaven, except through Christ. So the invitation is to you tonight. Number one, do you understand what Christ did? Number two, do you want to do something about the sin in your life? You need to. Sin is, is nothing that we want to hang on to. If you're here tonight and you want to make your life right with God and you want to start fresh, start clean, and, and become that, that part of the body of Christ that you were meant to be, this is an opportunity for you to do that. All together we stand and while we sing.